here you are in the entrance of the identitarian local called the, the Bastion. Uh, and then if you are more interest, interested, you can go in the second room, uh, which is a, a pub. It's called the uh, Albert uh, Spajari Gentleman Pub. And then there is a third big place. It's the biggest uh, room of the local. Mm -hmm. So it's the conference room. Uh, it is used for big conferences, uh, sometimes for political meetings. Uh, we can uh, welcome here more than uh, 50 people. Uh, and it, as you can see, it is also used as a boxing uh, training uh, room. People don't want to live together. They want to live with the people that are like them. They want to live uh, uh, at home when they go out in the street. They don't want to see people th that are not looking like them, not behaving like them. That's the main problem. We want to, be in, to stay in our civilization and not to live in another civilization. And that's maybe the biggest reason why the identitarian movement exists. I'm curious about how to make change today. So um, all your uh, politics and views and uh, ideology aside, uh, we could try to focus on your on your methods, on on your ways of making change as a movement and as a as an organization. We are not a political party. We don't uh, present ourselves uh, in uh, in the elections. So uh, we are a politician. We are activists, and we want to spread our ideas. For example, we will have very uh, mediatic uh, action um, with not big numbers of uh, activists, but in the right place, at the right moment, uh, with the right slogan. Uh, and that's why our action has uh, such a great success. We are putting in action what the people think. That's, that's our secret, and it's not really a secret. We are able to go uh, on the balcony of the European Commission, as you can, as you can see here. Um, we were able also to go uh, on the rooftop of the Poitiers Mosque. And then you have also places like this. Yeah. And, and um, what are you doing here, uh, actually? Uh, conferences. Yeah. Preparing actions. Mm -hmm. Um, um, sports. It's also a place where w the movement lives. It's also to create a kind of a yeah, community. We, we call it House of Identity. And <coughs> can you tell me about the Summer University? Yeah. yeah. I'm actually the director of this uh, Summer University. We do it five days during the week. Uh, and it's in the middle of the month of August. So it's a sacrifice to come. Uh, and we want only people who are able to make sacrifice, so it's the first point. And then, during the day, you have uh, self-defense first, in the morning. Then you have a political conference on the subject of the summer university. Uh, this year we spoke about uh, De Gaulle, uh, Charles Martel and the French uh, resistance. Then in the afternoon, you have workshops, political workshops, how to, how to organize uh, an action, how to organize uh, um, different kind of political activities. And then in the evening, another conference. Um, and then uh, free time. And then in, th in the evening, we sing around the fire and we share histories and experience, uh, activist experience from the year. And uh, that's why we are able to have uh, such a, a strong group, uh, a professional group, because I think that we have professional activists, they know. It's a growing number every year, and I think it's the most important time of the year, yes, for us. What is it with the, with the generation uh, thing? Because it's for young people. Yes. Yes, it's for young people because we, we think that activism is for young people. But there is also another point about uh, generation identity. If we have chosen this name, it's because the generation of 16 is the generation which is at the power at the moment. It's the generation who has two-thirds of the wealth, uh, mediatic power, political power, uh, economic power, they have all the power. And they don't, and the, 
these people, they, they don't understand us uh, because they are not confronted to the same problem with uh, uh, the working poor, uh, the jobs that you cannot have even if you have a, a master degree um, and they don't understand also the problem that we have with uh, mass immigration uh, because they have never lived with immigrants. So we see that there is a generation gap between our generation and the generation of 68. And that's also why we called ourselves uh, Generation Identitaire. For me, it looks like you have in your movement uh, a higher level of, of discipline and organization than from what I know from the people who are in left-wing movements. We are not doing the, pol the politics as a hobby. Uh, we think that uh, Europe and our civilization and our people are really uh, in danger. And it, will be, it can be hell in the future. We really think that. And that's why we are doing it professionally, with discipline, because we, we, we want to be efficient. It's the key word. We, we want to win and uh, we want to be efficient. So that's why we take all the measures that it, it needs uh, to achieve this goal. How important is it to be organized when you want to make change? It's, uh, if we weren't organized, we were, weren't uh, in the capacity to organize this kind of thing. And we need to be able to organize this kind of thing uh, to, to achieve our goals. So it's a necessity. Uh, we are not here for, it's not a joke, it's not a, it's not a pleasure. Um, there is good times, there is bad times, there is hard, there is hard times. Uh, but we have the feeling that we are doing something important. So organization is, if we need organization, let's be organized. Thank you.